Welcome to Black as Well Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. Yeah, boo. Mm -hmm. I missed you. And I'm coming back just for you. We need to see what's going on on a Thursday. Because we know how things go down in the spiritual realm. <laughs> Shit's always going down. But anyway, let's get into your reading because I know Capricorn. Since this is a reading for my Capricorns, you ready to knock me out because I'm running my mouth too much. So let me get into it. Let me get into it. Mm -hmm. God, I come to you prayer since you open up my third eye for Capricorn. We didn't come here to play. You know how I get down. I want to know the truth of everything. Expose it all to me so I could expose it to Capricorn. Mm -hmm. They nosy. <laughs> also ask for any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me. I ask you sending them back to hell where they belong. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a lot of sparks over there, right? Yes, of course, Capricorn. You may be in a new relationship. The sparks are flying. But for how long? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Capricorn. Because it looked like you may be moving on to somebody who you may have a distance from, which may be long distance, or it may be somebody that you have grown, you're starting to grow apart from. All right? You're moving on. Capricorn. Let me find out this new person didn't make it. Let me find out they didn't cut. They, they didn't make the cut. Yeah, they didn't make the cut. Capricorn, you were dealing with somebody new. Or this may be dealing with somebody in the past. But you're no longer opening your heart up to this person. Like, you're moving on. I feel like if it's somebody new, you realize they wasn't for you. They couldn't handle you. They wasn't ready for somebody like you. And if they were old, you realize they didn't deserve you. And they cannot have you. Point blank period. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Two 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 on the clock, as I said it. That's a fun. It's finito. The, for the for the past and the new, literally. Somebody need to look up the number twenty because the twenty percent battery just came up. So two two two, and a number twenty. Mm -hmm. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Mm. What is Capricorn? Capricorn, I feel like you're not going to be happy until you find somebody, right? I see this in my head, the Adams family, right? I even went out um, and while, while I went out to eat on Halloween, right? Y'all already noticed I posted on my community tab, right? And it was a couple, like a mother, a, a father, and a daughter, and they were the Adams family, right? So freaking cute. So freaking cute. And in that moment, I thought, man. I don't think I'd be happy with a relationship unless I'm the mother in the Adams family and my partner acts just like the father in the Adams family. All over me, all about me, devoted, true, honest, and loyal. Capricorn, that's what you want. And you're not settling. You're not settling. Mm, you're not settling for the same shit. You're not allowing people to just hold on to you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. you're moving on and you're moving towards what you really deserve what you want mm -hmm. and you're saying no to people who can't give it to you right this may be an aries leo or a sagittarius but this person is going to communicate that they want you if they're old they want to start over if they knew they want to basically fix it oh yada 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 this person sees you as everything that they could possibly want but do you see them like that I don't think you do, Capricorn. I don't think you do because you wouldn't be cutting ties with this person if you did. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've given this person enough chance, enough chances and enough time to like prove themselves. And they didn't prove nothing but what you already knew them to be. Not for you. Mm -hmm. This may have been a same sex relationship. And even if it's not, you're looking for somebody who is your yin to your yang. Also, you're also looking for somebody who understands you, who is similar to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But expect somebody to come and confess their feelings. 
even though you're not going to give this person another chance or a chance because you just feel like it's just too hard to be with this person it's not for you they're not for you my love they were for a time being and that time is up mm -hmm. but they'll be back but this person may also have somebody else or they may just be an attention seeker and it never would just be you mm -hmm. but yeah mm -hmm. At least Capricorn, at least you figuring out like what you want. It's getting you closer and closer and closer to finding your perfect person. Okay. So don't give up and don't get bitter. And don't care what people tell you that you're mean or that you have high standards. Keep those. That is what's keeping you from being uh, treated like trash or basically having your time wasted. Know yourself. Mm-hmm. What is the collect what is Capricorn you know? I feel like I almost said collective because a, a lot of people are watching you at this moment, Capricorn. So show out. Mm-hmm. Give them a show. Since they watch it so hard. Yeah. But anyway, people from your past as well as this person you cut off is going to be replaying your conversations or replaying memories or replaying where they fucked up at in a head over and over and over basically they're going to be in they're going to be in a depressed state because of the actions they chose to do towards you <laughs> and you're going to be this person's spiritual lesson because god blessed them with you and they was too late to jump on that train now you're gone <laughs> now you're gone <laughs> and they wondering Where's my Capricorn at? <laughs> Gone. They on that train. Mm -hmm. What's this person's hidden trick? Mm -hmm. What's this person's hidden trick? Capricorn, I also feel like you need somebody that's nurturing. As I was looking at the window, I saw this couple right in their car. I want to show y'all, but I may just end up getting canceled. I don't want them to find me. I don't know. But the scene that's happening right now is this lady is in a car with her boyfriend and she's rubbing on his stomach. Like, you know, he may have a stomach ache or something, but she's she's taking that time to pour into her person. It may not be what she want to do, but she's doing it because it's going to help her person. See, Capricorn, you be wanting somebody who's going to come into your life and help. Who's going to come into your life and alleviate the stress. The the um generational pain that you carry but i don't think you found that yet mm -hmm. but anyway these people are trying to become a better person for you this new person wants to be a better person for you but i don't think they're they're cutting up i don't think they're showing up in the way that you need them to show up i don't think they're acting the way that you want them to act and that you need them to act i felt this person is a distraction in your life and I also feel like you're a distraction in theirs because they may be going through a lot. They may have a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't even know about. But you bring a happiness to their life that they don't have. But do they bring a happiness to yours? Confirmation, amen, they don't. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is you, Capricorn. You left before they can leave you. Because you realize, hey, ain't she here for me? I'm gonna be building at a, I'm gonna be etching away at a mountain that's never gonna be finished. That's never gonna be what I want it to be. I'm wasting my time here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see what else. What else? Is this person saying here? What else do they want to put on? And they know they crossed the line with you, so that's probably gonna why, that's gonna be the reason why they may not reach out to you as fast, or they may reach out to you in an ass kissing way, in a tail tucked way, because mm -hmm. they know that you're not with the nonsense, Capricorn, and that you already know, was well, you already know, whatever secrets they're hiding, you already know, you already know, <laughs> and they know they messed up everything. Which is going to cause them to be stuck on you. Because they're never going to find somebody else like you, Capricorn. Never. Ever. What you bring into people's lives 
they'll never get that else elsewhere. They'll never find that. They'll continue to look for it though. Yeah. See, you want this person to be something. You even thought this past person could have been something. You even saw why, you know, it going a long, long way. But these people don't end up <laughs> lasting. They don't end up being who they portray to be. They don't end up being who they say they are. In Capricorn, you end up digging and you find out. And what do you do? You kick them to the curb. That's what you do, Capricorn. And I don't blame you. Because any smart person who's looking for the real deal don't got time to waste. Mm -hmm. Oh, love for Capricorn. Oh, love. Oh, love. Oh, love. Mm -hmm. Expect this person to reach back out to you. Also, expect your ex to reach out to you as well. This person has not let go of you. Mm -hmm. But they're not your true love. Neither one of them. Yep. I'm also getting a call from an ex right now. So, <laughs> I'm telling you, Capricorn. Somebody calling you. Either today or this week. Mm -hmm. This person still does see you all being something more than what you all are now. And you need to pay attention to the red flags. And I think that you have, Capricorn, which made you realize this person ain't for you. Mm -mm. Look up the number 11. That's somebody's message. Also, they don't even have the same religious factors as you. They're not your yin to your yang. They're not. They're not. Mm -hmm. And this person has a lot of learning to do. They're not ready for you, Capricorn. They're not. They're not. But let's get you some advice. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Y'all, she is really rubbing this dude belly. <laughs> Maybe she got a belly fetish. I don't know. Advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Capricorn, I also need to let you know that maybe your animal spirit is a crow. So when crows call, you need to start looking up the meaning behind that because it's always a message for you, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Understand that you are coming out of a drought when it comes to your finances. Also, you need to start saving more. Because you may end up experiencing a drought. And you need to make sure that you got yourself. Because don't nobody, ain't nobody going to be there for you. And you know that. Mm -hmm. Also, you need to start standing in your power and understanding your worth. So that you don't allow and accept the same shit that you've been accepting, Capricorn. Accept people who are on your level. Not below you or above you. On your level. Mm -hmm. Start working harder when it comes to the things that you want out of life, Capricorn. It's not going to be given to you. You got to slave for it. I promise you, you do. Mm -hmm. Also, when it comes to your intuition and your inner knowledge and your wisdom, never question it. You know what's going on. You know what's going on at all times. Never question it. Mm -hmm. And don't accept half-ass offers. Cut back on your drinking and your habits. And stop over giving the people who haven't given you shit. Okay? And as well as you need to jot down what you want out of life, Capricorn. It's, it's this. Now is the time where you get your life in order. Where you get your goals in order. And you strive. Okay? Because if you don't, this is going to be you in five years. Where you left off. In a dark space, dark place, drinking your life away. Nurture yourself, Capricorn, instead of trying to find somebody to nurture you. It starts with you. Okay? It starts with you. Put the liquor down 
and nurture yourself. You may have to leave some people alone who don't bring happiness into your life, Capricorn, who make you turn to these things. Nurture yourself and release those things that don't serve you. Let's get you some messages and follow your spiritual path because you're supposed to, Capricorn. You're supposed to. This is your your journey. You gotta find yourself. You aren't born here for no reason. You have a you have a reason. It's just for you to find it. <laughs> and this person that you used to deal with, or this new person. You started to realize that everything that they were doing and projecting and saying was a projection that they were doing. And that's why you decide to leave this person alone. They were projecting. Example, say a person be like, y'all don't normally be on the phone all the time, right? And say you're, you're, you just happen to take a nap. And you wake up to messages making it seem like, oh, you're doing this and that. And you're talking to this and that. They're projecting because in in the free time when you're not around them or you're not on the phone with them, that's what they're doing. You gotta peep the signs. Peep the signs. Mm -hmm, Capricorn, you did. You said I'm noticing a pattern in you. You got to go. Mm -hmm. And if you're around this person, you need to check their phone. Even if y'all are long distance. There is a thing called screen share. There is a thing called screen recording. Check their phone. Make them send you the recording. Call them on FaceTime and motherfucking screen share. Yeah. Because we're not playing no games about our heart, Capricorn. Don't play no games when it comes to your heart, Capricorn. Don't let somebody that you think may be good for you end up being not good for you. 17 on the clock. Yeah, because when you leave this person alone, they're going to be bitter. <laughs> they're going to be real bitter. They're going to be so bitter. What else is Capricorn to know? Mm -hmm. What I've been telling you, Capricorn, hmm. you need to find somebody who loves you properly. Not half ass, not how they want to, properly. And when you leave this person alone, this person that you've already left alone, this new person that you've left alone, oh, they're going to be losing their mind. They probably are already losing their mind right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you start saving, Capricorn. You got to put something up for a rainy day. Something finna happen that's big and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. This person from the past has grown to hate you but still loves you. This new person, once they realize they can't get you back, they're going to grow to hate you, but yet still love you. See, people that you've cut off, even family members, have grown to hate you, but low-key, they still love you. Weirdos. Mm -hmm. These people only care about themselves. Selfish. The way they talk to you, the way they handle you, the way they act towards you, it's the way they act, act, act. It's the way they act was selfish when it came to you. And these are going to be the same people who are going to make up lies and rumors when people ask them. So, what happened to you and Capricorn? <clears throat> you also need to get your ass in the gym, Capricorn. You don't want to be bad built. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Now, let's get you some angel numbers, angel messages, so you can get up out of here, Capricorn, because, like, I know you got stuff to do. That's a fact. But what I'm about to say is even more of a fact. Confirmation times two. So, baby, what I'm saying is the truth. This person from the past was a snake. This new person was a distraction. Mm-hmm. Something is afoot that may put you in danger. This is a warning from God, my love. You need to start tapping into your inner wisdom and trusting your instincts. And that's what you did, Capricorn. I'm proud of you. You found the snake in the grass. And you slashed it. Mm -hmm. That's your message. Continue to keep doing it. Continue to use that 
that that who elite sense of intuition that elite sense of discernment angel number 20 somebody need to look that up mm -hmm. but no capricorn at the end of the day this is what's owed to you money money is your sign mm -hmm. money your com your affirmation is today is money loves me money is attracted to me money flows through me again money loves me money is attracted to me and money moves all through me period <laughs> anyway i want to thank you all for sitting in with my little cute self and anything y'all want to know social medias as well as how to book me for a reading will be in the description box and i'll see y'all lovelies later bye capricorn